I got to close this message. But court is now in session. What do you mean, preacher? I'm trying to tell you that this judge would not do right. And there's somebody in here that God has brought you center stage and everything that tried to take you out. God's getting ready to put it on center stage. And he's going to make the thing that tried to get you, he's going to make the thing tell it for you. Come here, divorce. Got I got her. I got her. I finally broke them up. They ain't together no more. Come here, grief. She's thinking about committing suicide. Wanting to take pills. Trying to get out of here. I can't take it no more. Going in, the, in, in your room. Closing the door. Cutting yourself off from people. Come here, bankruptcy. You thought you would never have no money no more. You thought that you had ruined my life. You thought everything, I'm preaching to somebody in here that has gone through some stuff and it told everything. And the devil always uses people who have big mouths to tell what's wrong in your life. It's funny that if you do something good, it takes a smell place to get it to somebody. But as soon as you do something, we can't get out of church fast enough. And all of Chattanooga know, here I get you here. Man, did you understand? Man, did you see that? Sit down. When, when bankruptcy was talking, when divorce was talking, when grief was talking, when your relationship matters were talking, they were talking loud. But verse number six says, Jesus opens his mouth and tells the woman. Listen to what the judge has to say. I find it striking, Jeff, that the woman went to the judge and she asked him for her vengeance, for her justice. But when Jesus comes into the story, Jesus does not talk to the judge. Jesus talks to the disciples. Jesus talks to the woman. He says, did you hear what the judge said? Y'all missed it. You missed it. You missed it. Let's go back over it again. She asked him for justice. He says, I don't care nothing about you or your God. Pastor says, I don't care nothing about you or your God. Y'all ain't hearing me anymore. The God says, I don't care nothing about you. Or your God. Now B says, I don't care that about you or your God. Okay. Okay. You talking with your bad self. You had your talk. Yeah, they talk about you at the water cooler. Yeah, they talk about you at the little potluck dinners. Yeah, you you the top topic of conversation all over town. When you went through what you went through, when you had everything you were up and you went down. Everybody talked. That was okay. But I come to tell somebody today here in Chattanooga, the same devil that was talking then, he getting ready to talk now. Huh? What, what, what you say? I can't hear you. Excuse me, what was that? What you say, divorce? Uh, what you say? Uh, you said nobody else would love me. What would you say, bankruptcy? Uh, you said I would never have any more money. What, what was that you said three years ago, diabetes? I, I can't hear you now, huh? What, huh? What, what, huh? Oh, yeah, she ran off with my, my food five years ago. Oh, and you were talking, but, 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 but now that he's crawling back, I can't hear you. What would you say? What, huh? Uh, huh? Uh, I can't hear you. Yeah, you talked four years ago. I can't hear you now. Oh, uh, you're like you ain't seen the Horizon commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? What? Uh, you were talking. You, you were talking in the club two years ago. Hey, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I know my nephew got busted. I know he, he got three, three years in the penitentiary. Yeah, uh-huh, you talked about my nephew. Now, now you're getting ready to do twin. I can't hear that. Yeah. 